Understanding Burnt Eyelids, a guide for English language learners. Hello everyone, in today's video, we are going to explore a rather unique and intriguing phrase in the English language, burnt eyelids. This phrase might sound unusual, but it's a great example of how English can be both expressive and imaginative. Let's dive into its meaning, usage, and some interesting contexts where you might encounter it. Burnt eyelids is not a commonly used phrase and doesn't have a standard definition in most English dictionaries. However, it can be understood metaphorically. The word, burnt, implies damage or an intense experience, while, eyelids, are a sensitive and protective part of the body. Together, the phrase could suggest a situation where someone has undergone an intense or harmful experience, leaving them feeling vulnerable or exhausted. The beauty of phrases like, burnt eyelids, lies in their versatility. Here are a few scenarios where it might be used. 1. In literature, a writer may use this phrase to describe a character's state of mind after a traumatic event. 2. In everyday conversation, it could be used metaphorically to describe the feeling after a sleepless night or overexertion. As in, I feel like I have burnt eyelids after studying all night. 3. In art and music, artists or songwriters might use the phrase to convey deep emotions or experiences. Learning phrases like burnt eyelids is crucial in understanding the flexibility and creative potential of the English language. It helps in 1. Enhancing vocabulary. Exploring unique phrases expands your range of expression. 2. Understanding cultural contexts. Such phrases can give insights into the creative and metaphorical use of language in different cultures. 3. Developing language skills. It encourages thinking beyond literal meanings, which is essential for fluency. Thank you for joining me in this exploration of the phrase, burnt eyelids. I hope this video has been enlightening and has added an interesting element to your English language learning journey. Remember, language is not just about rules and grammar. It's also about expression, creativity, and connecting with others. Keep exploring and stay curious.